In this recording, we're going to go over how you can migrate fabric workspaces from one geography to the next by reassigning capacities. We're going to use this as a workaround uh, with um, Azure DevOps. In other words, the process is we're going to source control or synchronize a workspace, an existing workspace um, with Git in ADO. And we then going to stand up a new workspace in, under different capacity and geography um, and then synchronize the artifacts back in. So understand there are some limitations to this, for instance, data synchronization, etc. So if you're synchronizing anything beyond DDL and DML in a, uh, sorry, DDL inside of a, um, a data warehouse, um, that will not come across. Okay, so let's look at some of the uh, some of the supported uh, artifacts. So you can obviously use this method to migrate uh, pipelines, lake houses, notebooks, paginated reports, um, Power BI report artifacts with some limitations, um, as well as semantic models again with some limitations. Understand that the, the default uh, data warehouse and lake house. Uh, semantic models will be recreated in the new workspaces uh, when the uh, the lake houses and warehouses are st stood up. Um, you're able to obviously um, uh, work with Spark definitions, Spark environments, and then the DDL uh, of the data warehouses. Um, there are other limitations here, uh, such as yeah, in other considerations, you know, how do you synchronize data, those kind of things, and that's beyond the scope of this. This is purely if you have built um, certain artifacts that you want to migrate across, right? Any other artifacts that's not listed here, uh, such as um, uh, custom environments and those kind of things, so the, the KQL databases, uh, job definitions, all that stuff, uh, unfortunately, that is not available to sync, but I'm assuming, or, or at some point in time, uh, when they become Git integrated, um, they, this method will obviously be supported. Cool, so let's see what's required. So the first thing, I've stood up a, um, a, a, a Azure DevOps project. Uh, I have a repository. Um, this repository is empty. Uh, I'm just going to initialize the main branch. Here we go. Default, there's nothing in here. There's, you know, uh, no other branches but the main branch. In my Fabric instance, I'm going to go ahead and create a workspace. So let's just open up Data Engineering. Uh, I'm going to click on Workspaces, New Workspaces. Right, I'm going to say this is... Here's workspace A, right? I'm going to go ahead and uh, assign fabric capacity to this work, workspace, and I'm going to start with assigning it in uh, the West US, right? So I have see this two capacities. So I go to workspace in West US. Go ahead and, and hit apply and create my workspace. Now. The first thing I want to do is I want to create an, uh, a fabric artifact so that I can start uh, synchronizing these artifacts. So let's just go ahead and create a, a lake house. Right. Uh, oopsie daisy. Sorry, no spaces, no funny characters. Right. So. There is my first test lake house that stood up in my uh, US West 3 location, right? Uh, going to go back to Workspace A. We're going to go to Workspace Settings. And as you can see, here's my lake house, right? Uh, we're going to go to Git Integration. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pick up my project, which is this migration demo. Uh, I'm going to pick up this um, the repository, which is this migration demo repository. Uh, I'm going to choose my main branch, um, and again, you know, if you have other branches, you can do this. And I'm just going to go here and provide a 
uh, a subfolder so we can see you know, see what's happening right so this is my source artifact well actually let's do this workspace a All right i'm gonna connect and sync the folder connect and sync there we go it's been synchronizing you can see that things are being synchronized and our lake has is synchronized please note that it's not syncing the semantic model nor the sql endpoint because um, they will be automatically generated by the instantiation of the lake house right go back here let's just go ahead and refresh my repo we can see here we got workspace a we have uh, our lake house blah blah, blah all, all is good right um, cool so now back over here um, we might want to well let's say now we want to move these artifacts to a different capacity we want to reassign capacity so we can move geography if I go into my capacity side and I just go hey let me just reassign this to UK South where I want to migrate to. Hit apply. I'll go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Change capacity. And you can see here. Okay. Cannot be reassigned because it's not supported currently. Right. Remove the fabric uh, items and then move the workspace and try again. I'm back here. So I go, okay. Damn it. This doesn't work. So what do I have to do? Well, I have to create a new workspace. So I go create new workspace workspace B right again I go to my premium fabric capacity and we choose UK South hit apply off we go so now we got this empty workspace in UK South South called workspace B so um, simple to get the artifacts in just go to workspace settings get integration you know pick the organization pick the project uh, which was that one uh, pick my repository pick my branch give the workspace a folder right where i synchronized before and just say connect and sync now, what's going to happen is that we're going to have our lake house appear in no time. And we have now effectively migrated those resources into this workspace. There we go. It's busy syncing. In it comes. There comes the SQL endpoint. And soon enough, there is our semantic model. Right? And you can say test lake house A. Right? If we go to my other workspace, there you go, test lake house A. Uh, once you're done with source control, you can obviously just go ahead into the workspace settings, get integration, and go disconnect the workspace, uh, and um, obviously delete the workspace when you're done, if that's you know if that's required. Uh, but you can then go and you can remove this workspace. Right. Oh, I need to do that uh, using uh, the uh, admin portal. But anyway, uh, so that's a, a simple way to uh, migrate resources uh, from one workspace to the next. Cool. And I can again go into here into source control and disconnect my workspace B. Cool. And that's it. I hope you learned something. Thank you very much.